would you describe you know your off season? We're hearing a lot about how you worked on staying in the pocket and things like that, and obviously you've been busy with other things as well. How how would you describe what your off season has been like? Um, well, the off season was very busy for me uh, and my teammates as well, but just a lot of just growing and on the mental side and physically as well. So uh, I put a lot of time and countless hours and a lot of work into this off season. So uh, ready for so I can be ready for camp. You've been here for so long and you played so much and you've seen virtually everything there is to see. What are you still learning? Are there things that you say, oh, okay, I, I get that now that maybe you didn't before? Yeah, I feel like at the quarterback position is as well as um, that helps the most is that you can always learn something new. It's just like, I don't know, just like a, like as a baby, like you're always learning something. So I never close my ears to anybody that has something to say or anything like that. So learn has been, uh, the learning part has been very good. You mentioned some of uh, going through some like the mental training. I'm just wondering if you could talk more about um, what that experience was like. Um, Coach Satterfield had talked a little bit about it, getting the whole team involved. Um, and doing like a lot of the mental training aspect, not even focusing on X's and O's, but just you know, like uh, working on staying sharp uh, mentally. So I just wanted to hear about um, what that experience was like for you guys. Uh, it was very good, um, something new to us. Uh, again, everybody in different position groups, uh, got everybody from different places. So just hearing their sides of stories, uh, how they how they see life and football. Because um, like I always say, I mean, football is not going to be here forever. So you got to have some type of smarts um, outside of this. Uh, was there, just to follow up, uh, was there somebody uh, from the team um, who during that experience uh, you might have learned something about um, that you didn't know uh, prior to that session? Uh, no, not that I want to speak about. I mean, I mean, I want to say, I mean, I, don't, I can't speak on that. That's y'all job to do that. I mean, I just go out there and play, play my best for my teammates, um, for this city, for my family, and um, just want to be better for myself, not necessarily looking at rankings because, um, like I said, that's you guys' job, so I, I, I can only control what I can control. And the underrated part is just, just a word. Malik, are you even kind of excited to watch how this running back group kind of goes through fall camp because – I mean, honestly, Coach said, you know, any of those four guys could really kind of be the be the main guy. I mean, are mm -hmm. you even kind of like confused? Like, okay, who's gonna be back there? You know, at, at different times. Yeah, it's crazy because I was uh I was telling my son earlier about the we were talking about the running game and we're just like the one the, whoever's in the game is gonna go as hard as they can just because they know like we got so many other backs so it's gonna keep the competition going. So that's a good thing for the offense and for the team. So I mean, I'm excited to see all those guys play. Um, yeah, I just can't wait. Your uh, wardrobe back here uh, generated a lot of uh, attention at ACC Media Days. Beyond that, how has NIL changed your life and is, <laughs> and maybe your mindset? Are you are you more relaxed knowing that you have some income, et cetera? I mean, um, just coming from coming from where I come from, not too many people make it uh, to this to this part in life, and um, I'm just humble and blessed to be able to receive what I've received and. It's been good to me and my family for sure, and um, I just want to thank God for it and the people and the companies that have been doing the great things for me. To go back to the go go back to the to the running back question, Tyon is a new guy. What did you see from him in spring that that is maybe different from some of those other guys? I mean, you. Uh, I'm not saying that the SEC and the ACC is that big of a difference, but just knowing that he comes from a conference where they pride on defense for sure, and um, just knowing he's been he's played against some of the best defenses in the SEC, and uh, we got a lot of good defenses in the ACC as well. So just knowing that he has that confidence and that swagger by himself that he can um, compete even when even when uh, it's a different type of level, playing level. Something that nobody would guess. Uh, I don't know the name. I don't know who sings it, but I just know the song. Um, I can feel it. I can feel it coming in the air. That song, yeah, yeah. I don't know the name of it though. Who? Yeah, him. <laughs> you you have been around a long time. Is there anything as you go into fall camp 
tonight. I mean, you prepare for tomorrow, and you guys have been working. Do you still get a little butterflies? You get anxious the first day of fall camp, or is there anything that you maybe haven't seen that you expect this week, this couple couple uh, couple of weeks coming up? I mean, I feel like I've seen a lot, um, a lot of football, a lot of different defenses, and um, I mean, butterflies for practice not really my thing. I mean, I can't get hit. I'm not worried about getting touched or anything like that. So this is going out there with confidence and believing in my teammates. Just uh, try to get one percent better every day. I mean, you've talked a lot about how the game has slowed down for you over the years, but uh, how much more patient do you feel like you are now? I mean, in terms of you know uh, staying in a pocket, you know, deciding when to <clears throat> run, when to take off. Um, I've, I feel like I've been a lot more patient than than ever. Uh, this goes back to the guys up front, uh, Coach Carwell, leading those guys, and just the confidence I have in them. Uh, They've been around me for three years, uh, considering Cole left. So Brian's going to be the center, and I trust Brian just as much as I trust Cole. And we're going to make this thing work this year. Yep.